Oh, honey, I've got plenty of time. I just have to do the dishes. We only have ten minutes. Leave the dishes for the dishwasher. What dishwasher? We don't have a dishwasher. Yes, we do. Your mother. <laughs> she promised to come over and clean the place after she got up, around the crack of 12 noon. What's so important about today? What's important about today, honey? This is the first day this week you're going to be on time, and I want you there to see it. <laughs> oh, Frank, don't be ridiculous. See, where'd I put my car key? Oh, forget it. Just to make sure you're on time, I'm taking you in my car. Honey, don't you trust me? No, I don't. <gasps> Come in. Like what, ho, neighbors? Like hi, Fletcher. Going to work early, aren't you, Fletch? No, Daz, I'm just getting in. I was up all night long playing the gongs at a Chinese wedding. <laughs> Man, well, you look at that fallout. You mean rice to this? Fried rice. <laughs> Fletch, we'd love to chat with you, but we have to get to work. Say, do you mind if I suds this out in your washing machine? The one in the laundry room is busy right now. Fletcher, you can't wash a tuxedo. Oh, it's okay. It's a drip dry. <laughs> Kara, come on, will you? It's I'm 8.30. I'm ready, honey. I'm no, ready. No, you're not. Your wedding ring. Oh. Hey, what's this? Instant divorce? <laughs> no, Fletch. We both work for a company where they have a rule against employees being married to each other. Man, what a drag. Why don't you guys get yourself another gig? Well, one day, when we've saved enough money, Frank's going into business for himself. But until then, once we step outside that door, we're not married. Kara, now don't forget you've got to be on time. Now, honey, aren't you being ridiculous? It's a two-minute walk to the office. I've got a good ten minutes. I'd feel a lot safer if you had an hour. Don't be silly, sweetheart. Now, Go on before somebody sees us. I'll be at my desk before you park the car. Frank, uh, Mr. Burkhardt was yelling for you. Yeah, I know. I just got the message. Hey, well, what kind of a mood is he in? Oh, do you know where his morning report and or Carol Wilson, who has it, is or are? No, to all the questions. Then you're on your own. Oh, by the way, Fenwick has just acquired the Schlemmerker Wallpaper Company. You love the floral pattern. You hate the stripe. <laughs> If it wasn't against the rules, I'd marry you in a minute. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Burkhardt. Morning. Off the top of your head, Bridges, which one hits you where you live? Uh, love the floral pattern, hate the stripe. <laughs> My boy, someday you'll be sitting behind that desk. Oh, I don't think I could fill your shoes, Mr. Burkhardt. Oh, yes, you could. First of all, you're not afraid to express an opinion. Second, you have impeccable taste. And third, you know how to turn the boss's secretary into a stool pigeon. <laughs> all right, my boy. That's how I got where I am. Uh-huh. 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 I don't understand this. <laughs> well, that's all explained in the morning report, sir. Oh. Where is Miss Wilton with my morning report? <phone rings> yes, Mary, what is it? Oh, put her on. Excuse me, it's my wife. Uh, yes, Martha. Uh-huh. I don't need any sweaters. Well, size 40, regular. Any color but red. Yeah. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Be glad you're not married, Bridges. Let go! Let, will you let go, madam, please? 
I so at first it's just the color I want for my hat. <laughs> oh, you can have it. <laughs> Just what I was looking for from my husband. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you can find one you like even better. I, I mean the sweater. I happen to love the one I've got. The sweater and the husband. Where is Miss Wilton with my morning report? Oh, well, I'll call her again, sir. I'm, I'm sure she's in the building. She's probably in her office now. Ah, uh, Miss Wilton, now you're in at last. Let me talk. Listen, what? Well, sir, I don't... <laughs> Let me have it. Hello, Miss Wilton. Yes, Mr. Burkhardt? Why are you so late with my report? Your report, sir? I was just bringing it in when you rang, sir. <laughs> Now, why were you so late? Love the floral pattern, hate the stripe. You, it won't help. <laughs> Where are the warehouse inventories? Oh, you'll have them today, Mr. Burkhart, even if it takes me all week. <laughs> Excuse me, Damon. Are you busy? Yes, Martha, I am. I'll just be a moment. I want you to try on this new red sweater I bought for you. Love the stripe, hate the floral pattern. The three to one against you. <laughs> oh, may I present Miss uh, Cara Wilton? Uh, hi. Mr. Frank Bridges, my wife, Martha. How do you do? We've met before, haven't we? Across a crowded room. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I mean the young lady hiding behind you. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, me? <laughs> no. No, I, I don't think so. She bought a fuzzy white sweater for her husband. Husband? Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Oh. Oh, dear, well, was it supposed to be a secret? Miss Wilton, I'm shocked. Well, not exactly shocked, I'm hurt. Well, I'm not really hurt, I'm bewildered. No, I'm shocked! <laughs> now, why didn't you come and tell us? Have we been strangers here or one big family? Strangers. <laughs> Precisely. And the things you can't tell your family, you can tell a stranger. <laughs> now, Fenwick and company are not anti-marriage, except between employees, which is certainly not the case here. No. Uh, no, c uh, congratulations, Miss Wilton. <laughs> it isn't Miss anymore, it's Mrs. Uh, what's the name? Oh, dear. I beg pardon? Uh, uh, oh, dear. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, dear. Uh, Irish name. Tim O'Dear. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, what does Mr. O'Dear do for a living? Well, uh, I, I, I can't really say. Why not? Well, it's, uh, kind of a secret, you know. Secret? He's involved in something undercover, a cloak and dagger. Oh, that's perfect, yes. Uh, he's in the cloak and dagger business. Undercover dangerous work. Espionage, intelligence? Oh, he's very intelligent. He's in the uh, CIO. A. Uh, a, A, uh, uh, CIOA. CIOA? Will you tell me why? Oh, not now, honey. This is very important. I have to get this finished by tonight because I have to take it out to Mr. Burkhart's house. Blow me out at dinner, okay? I'm not coming home to dinner tonight. I'm eating with a customer. A male customer. Oh, well, have a good time. Thank you. Now, what are you going to do about this Tim O'Dare thing? How long do you expect to keep up that masquerade? Honey, you saw what happened. What can I do? What can you do? Just one thing. Look Burkhart right in the eye and tell him the absolute truth. What? That's right that your new husband was killed in a running gun fight. Well, why couldn't he have been killed in a running gun fight? Mother! <laughs> After all, your boss believed all that other junk about the CIA. That's because Mr. Burkhart made that stuff up himself. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello, neighbors. Oh, hi, Fletch. Come on in. Hey, will you look at this tuxedo? The cat that sold me this said I could wash it and wouldn't have to press it. Gee, Fletcher, I was worried about you washing it. 
Oh, look at it. It's all wrinkled and rumpled. Yeah, and if there's anything that bugs Bernstein, it's a rumply, wrinkly cymbal player. Oh, all right, give it to me, Fletcher. I'll iron it for you. Oh, thanks, doll. And your next bongo lesson is on me for free. I think that's only fair. Fletcher, did you say Bernstein? Yeah. Lenny? No, Benny, at the Crazy Horse in Pasadena. <laughs> say, where's the daddy bear tonight? Oh, he's out with a customer for dinner. Have you had dinner yet, Fletcher? No. Would you like to share a frozen pizza with us? Not on an empty stomach, man. I had one of them long, plain pizza sickles once and came down with frostbite of the taste buds. Oh, Fletcher, don't tell me you didn't thaw it out. Oh, no wonder I couldn't bend that mozzarella. <laughs> I'd fix you a home-cooked meal, but I don't have time. I have to take all these papers to my boss's house tonight. Crazy, I'll drive you over there. Oh, will you, Fletch? Yeah. Gee, I'd appreciate that. Okay, I'll fix dinner. I'll get it. Go, Daddy, go. <laughs> this Wilton? No, this is me. Kara's out in the kitchen thawing out our dinner. Oh, I know who you are. Kara told me all about you. But this is her employer, Mr. Burkhardt. Yeah, we've been kicking your name around a little, too. I'll call her out of the oven. Well, that's not necessary. Uh, just remind her about the inventory report she's supposed to deliver to me tonight. Oh, it's all set. I'm going to drive Kara over to your place about half past the pizza. That late, eh? As I say, as long as you're coming, why don't you both have dinner with us? It'll just be potluck. Ooh, my favorite dish. <laughs> it will, shall we say, 8 o'clock? I'll count on it, O'Dare. Start counting, old daddy. You think this will be enough for three of us, Mom? Oh, don't you worry about me, honey. I'm still on my diet. That's okay, doll. You can have the whole thing. Karen and I are going to go out to dinner. Well, that's very sweet of you, Fletcher. It really is. But I told you, I have to go to Mr. Burkhardt's house tonight to deliver those papers. That's where we're going to eat. What do you mean? That was Mr. Burkhardt on the phone. It was? Yeah, and he really likes me a lot. He kept calling me old dear. <laughs> old oh, dear? Oh, dear. Kara, Mr. Burkhardt thinks that Fletcher is Mr. O'Dare. Oh, dear. Oh, Fletcher. Oh, you didn't tell him we'd go over there for dinner tonight, did you? He wouldn't take no for an answer. He made the invite sound like an order. Okay, Fletcher. You got me into this. We'll go. But we'll stay long enough just to say hello and drop off the papers. That means no dinner and not even one drink. I tell you how delighted I am to meet you, Mr. O'Dare. Easy, Dad. That's my symbol hand. Your what? Oh, a uh, symbol hand. That's what the CIA calls the symbol of authority. His gun hand. Oh, oh Well, here are the inventories. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for inviting us to dinner, Mr. Burkhart. But I'm afraid we can't stay. So of thank course you, you can. Please. No, no. Now, just the martini. They're already made. Uh, oh, no. let's just have a little. Uh, I'll take your coat. Uh, uh, no, no. Thank you, really, Mr. Burkhart. But... We can't stay that long. We'll have time for just one drink. Well, just one? <laughs> Thank you. Confidentially, what do you do in the CIA? Sorry, man, I can't get too confidential with you. How do I know you're not one of them subversive cats? <laughs> I propose a toast. I'll drink to that. Oh, dear. Wait for the toast. Oh, is that how you do it? To the brave lads. Go without sleep, without glory, without financial rewards. To make life safer and better for the rest of us. Like, yeah, Dad, that's right on the head. Well, thank you so much, but really have... Now tell me, Mr. O'Dea, you must have had some very exciting experiences in your job. Yeah, I have. Is it true you fellas take cyanide pills when you're captured? No, we don't use them pills anymore. We found they had too many weird side effects. <laughs> we even had agents turn themselves in just so they could take the pills. <laughs> now we use a shoe with dynamite in the heel. And in case you get captured or anything, you just go. It's all over. Normal walking won't set it off, but I can't dance too much. So. Oh, oh, Tim, he has such a sense of humor. Well, I'll drink to that. Is that rain? I can't believe it. Agnes, how could you let her go there with Fletcher Kincaid? Oh, they made a very nice-looking couple. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry, gang. The car is all cacked out. It still won't start. But I did find the trouble, though. It's out of gas. Well, how can that be? Well, you told me to leave the motor running. <laughs> I've been trying to get a taxi, but it's impossible in this weather. Well, how are we going to get home? Well, it's no problem. You'll spend the night here. Spend the night? Oh, no, no, really. I'd rather walk. It's only eight miles. <laughs> well, I wouldn't dream of letting you walk in this downpour. Well, I'm sure it's clearing up. Let me see. Mrs. O'Dare! It's only a drizzle. <laughs> drizzle? Man, this is a gully washing trash mover, and I can't swim. No, Mother will fix the guest room upstairs. It's no trouble at all. Oh, oh but really, I I'm not a bit tired. I went to bed so early last night. Oh, it's a lovely room, and besides, you must get out of those wet clothes. Oh, I appreciate you having us for dinner. I we really can't it. stay. Oh, but, uh, I, 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 I slept so well. Beautiful. And there's no sense going up there if I'm tired. I'd really rather walk. Tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to call Mr. Burkhardt right now. Frank. Don't do anything you'll be sorry for. I'm going to tell him the truth. No, Frank. Yes, Agnes. Hello. Who is this? Mr. Burkhardt. Yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you who this is. No, I can't tell you who this is. Uh, well, one of our agents left this number in case of an emergency. No, no. I was just checking to see whether X-9 was there in case there is an emergency. <laughs> oh, he is. Can I speak to his wife, please? They did? <laughs> oh. No, no, tell him home base call uh, and is awaiting a full report on any unofficial activities. <laughs> Fine mess you got us into. One drink, huh? More like ten. Well, we might as well be comfortable. <laughs> How comfortable. That's it. <laughs> I'll fix up the chair for you so you get a little rest. Us CIA cats never sleep. We're just clean livers. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> there you go. All nice and comfortable. Fletcher? 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 Come on, boy. Up. Fletcher? Mrs. O'Dare? Yes, Mr. Burkhardt? You comfortable? Just fine, thank you. How about you, Mr. O'Dare? Everything okay? Everything scooby dooby daddy -o. <laughs> Mrs. Burkhardt thought you might need an extra blanket. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Burkhardt. Good night, Mrs. O'Dare. Good night. Good night, Mr. O'Dare. Oh, he's out. Uh, I, I mean, asleep. Already? Yes, it's a trick they learn in the CIA. It's called uh, instant sleep. <laughs> it conserves their energies, you know. That's good. <laughs> comfortable and cozy for you, and you're going to sit in it.
Right as rain. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Just cooling it. Man, am I hung up. <laughs> Will you quit that silly fooling around and come on in here? <laughs> all right, all right. What kind of an idiot would be out on a night like this anyway? It's me, sir. Well? <laughs> Oh, 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 I am sorry, sir. Bridges, an efficiency expert, should have a watch. Do you know it's 3 o'clock in the morning? She... Oh, I... it is 3 o'clock. I'm awfully sorry, sir. Good evening, Mrs. Burkhardt. Well? Oh, no, Mr. Burkhardt, I've been working on the uh, control data reports. For pity's sake, Bridges, I know you're an eager beaver, but couldn't it have waited until morning? Well, I am in the swing of it, Mr. Burkhardt, and uh, I seem to be missing the March figures, and I wondered if Miss, uh, Mrs. O'Dare might be able to help me out with them. She certainly can't. She's in bed with her husband. I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm wide awake, see? I haven't been to bed. I've just been pacing the floor and talking, pacing the floor and talking. Talk, 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 talk. Look out below. I must fly. I must flee. Where are you going, Mr. O'Dare? Oh, I gotta go to the crazy horse in Pasadena, even if I gotta swim upstream. <laughs> it was a gas, sweetheart. Hi, neighbor. Don't lose your cool. I'm splitting. What does he mean, he's splitting? Uh oh, he means we're splitting. Yes, we're breaking up. I'm gonna have our marriage annulled. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll get over him, Miss Wilkins. You know, there's something about him I didn't like. I can't imagine a CIA man doing a thing like that. Oh, that's it. Yes, you see, he's not really a CIA man. He lied to me. He's a musician. Well, he didn't sound like one. I mean, Lawrence Well doesn't talk like that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Burkhardt, I'll take her home. Oh, are you sure it isn't out of your way, Mr. Bridges? No, it'll be a pleasure. I go right by there. <laughs> Good night. Good, Good night. night. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you for a lovely evening. <laughs> It was all circumstances, and there were circumstances beyond my control. It was, darling, darling, really, if you look at it the right way, everything worked out all right. Frank, Frank, I could have lost my job. Frank, and I didn't. So, so, so if you look at it the right way, Mr. Burkhart didn't find out, and everything was really all right. <laughs> and you're never going to talk to me again, are you, Frank? Oh, Frank, please say something, anything, please. No, I am not going to say anything. Not one word. Except, everybody makes mistakes. I make them, everybody makes them. And you make them. But when you make them, oh, they are beauties. <laughs> and if you think I am angry, you're right. I am very angry. And I'm getting angry about... <laughs> Kara.